now to the issue uh, that we were chatting to the Gauteng Transport MEC Jacob Mamabolo about, and that's the, the violence between uh, metered uh, taxis and e-hailing service companies. That's still a great concern, and we're talking about the mediator that's been appointed to actually sort out the impasse where they find themselves. MEC, uh, we do have you back. So, yes, you were telling us about the mediator who's been uh, uh, employed or deployed to actually sort out the issues, and we believe that the issue is about terms of employment. Tell us about, you know, where, where the beginning uh, point will be for this mediator. Yeah, let me just uh, uh, promptly clarify that um, the nature of this dispute mm. is not a labor matter or involving labor relations between the employer and the employee. The nature of the dispute is that uh, the e-hailing companies have provided a platform inviting partners, and in this case, driver partners, who are in business, not employees. And um, they then, as you know, have had a series of marches and protests at our offices pleading with us as the provincial government to help them mm. because they are saying when the e-hailing industry landed in the country, there was no proper regulatory environment. And therefore, we then said, if people are marching, protesting to our offices only to ask us to help them, and we can see people are dying, meter taxes, mm. uh, uh, e-hailing uh, companies, instability just caused by, by the um, protests and marches, the inconvenience to road users, the instability yeah. causes in the province. Yeah. We can't look away. We can't close our ears and pretend that we don't hear this popular expression. And it is for that reason that in our engagements with them, we reached a conclusion that it is better that government help them find each other because they seem to be far mm. poles apart oh. and that is why we have all agreed that given the history of our country in which negotiations have helped us a lot let us follow that best mm. practice and that's where well, we are well MEC, it seems that the mediator is going to have two things on her plate one is this issue with with these um, uber and boat drivers and their driver partners and then the other one like you say is the issue that we've seen happening over the past couple of years with e-hailing services and metered taxi operators so what are they still squabbling over at at the moment the and i must say that uh, this issue of e-hailing um uh, driver partners and the the meter taxis has lost has led to loss of life and um, you know physical attacks on people and including threats of life to to, to the commuters. Now the dispute there between the the the, the, the meter taxis is that um, the meter taxis argument is when the e hailing industries came to South Africa, because there was no operating permit or license uh, for e hailing companies. Then government opted for a meter taxi operating permit, which is what they are using currently uh, in the e-hailing industry. So they are arguing that in actual fact, given that it is their permit that is being used, they therefore should have a say on the routes, on the locations, on the mm. entire model of operation of the e-hailing industry. And in actual fact, they are making a claim that since they are using the meter taxi operating license, in actual fact, they should be classified as uh, meter taxis, and therefore they mm. should have effective control over right. that. So on the other hand, the e-hailing industry is saying that we are in no way in our business model, operating model, we are in no way related, linked to um, the, the meter taxi. So you would have seen in areas like how train stations, at areas like airports, Maponia Mall, all lucrative sites, all sites of high commercial activity, you will have seen those fights and those disputes. Yeah. And what we are saying is, we have never had this experience as a country. Although there's a draft legislation in place, which we believe once it's signed, it will bring some stability. Okay. But can we help improve this environment, stabilize it, for the sake of lives, for mm. the sake of stability of our province mm. and its economy, and for the mm. convenience and safety 
of the road use. All right, Heart and Transport MEC Jacob Mamabola, thanks very much there on the uh, appointment of uh, mediator Janine Khan there to sort out the issues. And just to let you know, we were uh, wanting to ask the MEC about the ETOL's excitement that was caused uh, by an interview he had done uh, this week. And uh, he told us that he was reluctant to talk about it because the issue has actually been clarified. Now,